Hello and welcome to the video for what is packed textures in Unreal Engine. This is not a Unreal Engine 4 specific tutorial, but this is something important to know when you're working with materials, so we're going to go and cover it anyways. Unreal Engine uses a PBR or physically based rendering workflow. Generally that consists of a base color, a metallic value, a roughness value, and a normal value when you are creating a material for any of your meshes. Packed textures are a way of taking things that have values like metallic and roughness and combining them into one texture so that way you're saving on memory and space. So we're going to go ahead and cover how that is done. If I was to open up my Substance Designer, which I'm using for this example, and we were to look at what we have, we have a base color output, a roughness output, and a metallic output, and it's giving me this for the result. Now, if you notice, roughness, let me go over here, is a black and white value, and metallic is a black and white value. Textures consist of R, G, B, and A, three, diff three different channels plus alpha, technically four channels. And basically, how much red you have determines how much red there is in the image, how much blue and how much green determine how much there is in the image. So for example, if we had something that was a red color, it would consist of all red, the red channel being fully um, one, basically on, and the green and blue channels being off or black. So that way, that's how we get red. When we have an individual value like metallic or roughness, where if I was to example take my roughness, drag it down, you'll notice my image becomes very clear because it's fully metallic. And if I was to drag it up, you'll notice it becomes very rough because now it's very rough. So my default value was somewhere down here. So I have a slightly metallic and, uh, sorry, I have a fully metallic and slightly rough image. Now, since they're just values on or off, basically for these two, like this is 44 and this is gonna be all one, what we can do is we can pack them into one texture to save space. So I've gone ahead and done that. What I'm using is putting roughness in my R and G and putting metallic in my B and A. It is up to you if you're creating a custom texture like this to do it however you want, or if you're using a third party program like Substance Painter, use whatever standards they have. They'll put their roughness in red and their metallic in blue, which is what I'm trying to follow here. You'll have to refer to your content creation package for how they pack their maps. But I'm packing mine myself, so here's what I'm doing. So if I was to export this out and see what we came up with, we are gonna find I have my four maps, my expected base color, my expected metallic, my expected roughness, and then now this is my metal rough combined. What we want to do is pull these into Unreal Engine and you need to pay attention. When you're packing a map, sometimes Unreal Engine can think it's a normal map and convert it for you. You do not want it to do that. So we're going to go ahead and drag these in and watch and see if it pops up down here that it converted it to a normal map. We're going to try again apparently. There we go. And no error, so we're good to go. And if we look at the metal roughness, it's from a texture group world, so we're good to go. There was, There is a mistake here that we're going to correct shortly, but I need to show you the error first. Now let's open up our normal material, and we set it up like we normally would. I have a base color, I have a metallic color, and I have a roughness color. And if we were to fill in our values here, we find our roughness, we'd find our metallic, and we refined our base color. And our output should be what we expect. Should be what we expect, but it's not, and this is something that we'll have to fix. And if we look on here, we have our output. Now we have an issue here, and we're gonna to need to correct it, but let me show you how to pack it and then fix it. So we go with our packed cube, and this one, we're only gonna need two textures. One for our base color, because our base color isn't packed, and then one for our other texture, which I, Hook these up backwards, let's try that again. So, our base color, because it's not packed, and then one for our packed one, which is our metal roughness. And then what we do is, well, where do we have our roughness? We have a roughness in R, so you just drag off of R and drop it in R. This one is metallic, we'll drop it in there. 
Now we've used two textures to accomplish the same thing. So if we were to drop this one, this is a normal cube here and a packed cube here, you'll notice they look identical. We've got one less texture, but we have the same result because we're using packed textures. Keep in mind that's only going to work on things that are Boolean, basically on or off. Metallic is a good example, and you'll find commonly used. Roughness is a good example. Normal, uh, not normal, sorry. Opacity is a good example because it's on or off. And opacity mask is a good example. And you also find height map is another on or off one. So here's the issue from when we import it. One thing you'll find depending on your output format is you need them to be in a linear color space because they are not packed. Because we don't have a traditional red, green, blue, alpha with different colors in them, Unreal Engine will interpret it as an sRGB and that's not what we want. We want to pull in just individual channels. So if we were to open up our metal roughness and we go to sRGB, it tells you this should be unchecked if using channels individually as masks. If we uncheck it and save, and go back, you'll now notice we have what we were expecting. And on this one, we basically have the same issue here. One of these is being interpreted wrongly. My guess would be the roughness. And you'll notice we now have the same output between the two of them, which is what we expected. So if we want to actually look at this to see how this is working, if we pull up our normal metallic and we pull up our channel list here and we uncheck them all, You'll notice our metallic, since it's white, has white in the red, white in the green, white in the blue, and white in the alpha, because that's what makes a white texture. And if we were to pull up our roughness, you're going to find it has gray in the red, gray in the green, gray in the blue, and then white in the alpha, because basically this is our image, red, green, blue combined. And then alpha basically says it's fully opaque, it's not transparent. Now the cool thing is we go into our combined one, wherever that's at, right here, and we do the same thing. We can ignore alpha, but let's look at our red and green and blue. Our red is gray because it's our roughness, and if we pull up our roughness, it matches. And then if we pull up our blue, we're gonna find white, which matches what we're expecting out of our metallic. So there you go, that is our, somewhere in here, there we go, that is how we used a packed map. Now, based on the color you can see here, it kind of made a blue. That's why I said sometimes it might import it as a normal map. If it does pop up, you need to tell it it's not a normal map. Go ahead and change it back to the world instead of normal map. Make sure sRGB is unchecked, and then you should be good to go. So we've gone ahead, we've saved a little space. We've learned the basics of what a packed texture is. You'll find, for example, if you're using Substance Painter, it has an option to export as packed. And a few other art programs allow that. If you want and you're an artist, use Photoshop. Use your individual channels. Pack your things together. It's up to you, but it's a great way to save space. And if you ever hear someone saying they're using a packed texture and you don't understand, then here's an example of what a packed texture is and how you'd use it in Unreal Engine 4.